Welcome to another construct video and in this video I want to show you how you can get an enemy to move backwards and forward on a ledge without ever falling off that ledge. Let's get started. So first of all I've got my enemy and the platform. I've got the platform behavior on my enemy. And what's really important is I've lowered the speed so it's not moving too fast. I need to make sure default controls are turned off. This means that we can't control the enemy because that doesn't make any sense. We're also going to go to our platform right click edit behaviors and i've got the solid behavior because it's a solid platform this means our enemy will not fall through the platform good now the next thing we need is we need to insert a new object we need to scroll down and create a new sprite i'm going to call this edge we're then going to make this just a random color one that we can see i'm going to make this quite small about that size Going to move it to the top and we're just going to scroll down and we're going to do initially visible and we're going to tick that off i'm going to leave it on so you can see what it looks like on but this will be something that we hidden so your player can't see whoever's playing your game can't see this but it's something that we are using for collision next we can go to our platform right click and we're going to edit the animation for it and we're going to add some image points so we're going to add a new image point image point one i'm going to put it to one of the corners like so and then we're going to right click again add new image points and we're going to place it to the second corner this is going to be used later on to speed up our collision quite a bit okay so with all that said and done we're now ready to move to our event sheet so we can move to that we need to right click on our enemy and edit instant variables can add one called switch which is a boolean so i'll just show you how i create that Right switch, call it boolean, and set it to nothing to begin with. This will decide which way our character is going to begin with. So what we're going to say is add an event, and we want to do every tick. Right click again, add another condition. We're going to see if enemy, compare instance variable, is boolean variable set. Sorry, because we're doing with booleans. Is switch true? If so, what we're going to do, well, we're going to get the player to move, or the enemy, sorry. So we're going to get the enemy to move. So we're going to do this by simulating its control. And we're going to get it to move right. We're also going to click on an enemy again. And we're going to go to this set mirrored option. I'm going to start by making it not mirrored because it's moving to the right. We can then take this whole command, copy and paste it. We'll do a couple of things so first we're going to invert the switch to see if that's the other way around we're also going to make it so it's mirrored and so that we are simulating a left move instead so now it's got the option to move left and right we've got no way to trigger our boolean variable which is our switch so in order to do this we're going to say if enemy so overlapping another object edge Then we'll go to system and we're going to toggle boolean which means it just swaps it okay oh and that needs to be in our enemy toggle boolean switch so it's going to change that switch anytime we hit that overlapping edge what's really important as well is that we add another condition to this under our system and we want this trigger once while true now what can happen with this is every time it hits the red it turns around and it just flicks back and forth and stays on the same edge we want to be able to get it to move backwards and forwards to both edges so it's only going to trigger once wide true now i've got that all set up we're ready to go and we could simply just take our edges and we could put them on the edge of every single platform but that's going to be really really slow if we've got lots of platforms in our game so that would work but i'm going to show you a way to speed up that process so in our event sheets, we're going to add a new event, and this event's going to be at the start of layout. So we just find that one. We're going to add another condition to this, another system condition. We're going down for four each. This will allow us to loop through every single instance of an object. And the instance that we want to loop through is platform. And click done. Then we're going to add a new action, and we're going to say platform. 
spawn another object and we're going to spawn an edge and we want to do this at image point one which is that separate image point we set up in one of the corners and then we can copy and paste this and we want to do image point two which is the other corner that we set up because we start from zero in programming it's a very programming sort of thing to start from zero so one is your second point you added and two is your third point hit done and now hit play Now our play is going to move, when it hits the two edges, it's going to turn around and it will never fall off the edge. By going to our edge object at the side here, we can take that initially visible off. And now this happened, and it seems like it is happening by itself, and the enemy's got a bit of AI around him. And you can change those points that the edges spawn in, so you can see that my right one is placed right on the edge, while my left one is slightly on top of the platform. So you can play around with that to get the look that you're after or even get the enemy to go slightly further off the platform or go to less distance.